Pilots, Drain Man here, and today I got a super exciting video. In today's video, we are changing the game just a bit. If you're a Fet Tech fan like I am, and you love having AIOs like I do, and you want them strong and resilient and powerful and full of features and amperage and connections and awesome stuff, you are not going to want to miss this. <laughs> Let's go. All right, pilots, so here's the deal. Quite a while ago, like two years ago, I did a review on the Newbie Drone Infinity AIO board. It was this awesome board, just packed with everything, all on one board, just a big, fat, meaty board with two heat sinks, all of your electronics protected, which is quite shocking these days, because if you look at our gear, everything is wide open. All of our electronics are subject to impact, uh, water, dirt, sand, you name it, it's bound to get in there because that's just the way we've done things. So the Infinity line was super cool because they took two heat sinks, sandwiched the top and bottom of this board, and protected everything. All you had was your connection to your motors, your couple plugs that you need, and then your XT60 connection. And that was it. Everything else was sealed, protected, and ready for war. Put it on your drone, take it to the sky, and you probably won't break it. But today, the game changes. And the reason why is because this ain't no normal beta flight board. This is a FET tech board that is an AIO Infinity, and it's got everything you could ask for with FET tech. So let's go ahead and crack this puppy open and take a look. So the AIO AIO-1 and the AIO-V2 Pro both came with a silver heatsink. This one comes in a cool matte black color. Right here on the side, you can see where it says Fettec. So let's go ahead and crack this puppy. Oh, 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 that is gorgeous. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh, Dean, look how thick that is. What? Look how thick that is. Let me see if I can get a comparison. Here's a Fettec flight controller. Oh my God, it's nearly double the thickness. I'm not talking about the heat sinks. I'm talking about the physical PCB board is nearly double the thickness of our average boards. You've got your XT60 connection. If I flip it over, you can see where all of our motors can be connected from the bottom, the sides, or the top, so that's super nice. If I look in the back, oh, surprise, surprise, we've got LEDs. <laughs> so it's just like the Fettec G4 board where you've got four LEDs around and I guarantee it, we can go ahead and program those to be any color we want. We've got our boot button right here. We've got our micro USB connection. Mm, would I have liked to see Type-C? I uh, probably would, but that's not a deal breaker. We've got our main plug right here, and what that is, that one right there, that top little white one right there, you see that? That is going to be your DJI connection. So if you're running anything DJI related, plug and play, baby. You literally will plug that in, solder up your motors, connect your battery, you're off to the sky with Fettec G4. How awesome. And I guarantee it, this is gonna run Fettec Alpha, or if you don't want to, you can flash back, and I have a full, full video showing you how to use Fettec Alpha, how to flash back and forth between the two. I've got all that, I'll put links for you down in the video description, so that way you can learn your way around Fettec if you're not normally a Fettec pilot. Now, let's continue on. Right here is something super awesome, look at that. That is a very slender, slick plug that you almost can't even see. See that? That is gonna be where all the magic is gonna happen. So let me open this up. So we've got extra grommets, extra screws. We've got our XT60 and our capacitor. But here's what I'm more concerned with, our plugs. Holy cow. That is a lot. Oh my God, look at this. There's a lot going on here. Oh, okay. Yep, this is, wow. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Hold on, but oh my goodness. Look at this. That's a lot. I don't think I've ever seen that before. But before we continue on, let me show you this. You've got the this plug here, and this is your DJI plug and play. It's literally ready to go. Plug into your uh, uh, Infinity AIO, boom. Plug into your DJI, boom, boom you're off to the sky. So that's pretty cool. And if you're running a Vista or you're running something like that, you'll just snip that end off, solder it up, 
you're on your way. They left nothing to chance. They gave you plenty of length. Very slender plug. There you go. Look at that. Hell of a difference. Look at that. Whew. That's quite crazy. You'll line it up and look at that. Oh, fits like butter. So I'm going to plug that in. And if I take a look, everything's on one side. Boot, USB, uh, my DJI, and then all of my connections to everything else all on one side. And then all I've got is uh, XT60 over here, and I'm on my way. Now check this out. This board does it all. Just because it's compact, tight, you don't have everything exposed, doesn't mean we're losing any features because we're not. We're really, really not. If we take a look right here, you can see the pinout to all of these cables. Look at that. So let's go ahead and go over those really quickly. All right, so checking this out, let's start at the top. You've got your ground, five volts camera ground. So that means you can connect your camera or any other five volt thing that you wanna power. You've got 12 volts in a ground, so you can power anything that's 12 volts that you wanna power that's 12 volts. You've got your VTX connection. You've got UART one. You've got a signal, telemetry, UART three. Full UART, that's RXTX. You've got your buzzer, plus and minus. You've got a full open uh, UART again on UART 4, which is RX4 and TX4. And then you've got your LED right here. I mean, this bad boy is packed. All right, pilots, so I would like to go over the internals, like our actual boards, like what are we using for Beck, what are we using for this, what's our MCU, all this stuff. Well, I know that the MCU is a G4, but I would like to dive into the electronics a little bit, but this guy is capped and closed, so I really have to break in to get in and see everything, which I did do on the original OG AIO Infinity board. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link for you down in the video description. Holy ow, hot. But let me know, jump down in the comments. We got two options here. One, I can crack this puppy open and we can take a look at the electronics. Or option two, we can load this bad boy up in a quadcopter and take it for a spin. So you guys let me know what you're interested in seeing. Uh, if you're interested in how many amps this bad boy pumps, I want you to know that they were running 55 amps all day with no problems, but on paper, it's a 45 amp ESC built into this magnificent board, which has FET tech on board. How incredible. And you already know what this means. What does this mean? So let me show you. I'm going to give you a quick little boop, boop, boop. So here you go. Infinity symbol. Uh, this is unlimited cockroach frame replacement warranty. What's a cockroach frame? It's a whoop. Those are the whoop drones, the little newbie drone whoopers. They're awesome. The acro bees and all that stuff. How cool. And I know that you know that what I'm thinking is what you're thinking. That stuff is about to be Bet tech too. I can't wait to have me a whoop drone and acro be rocking fat tech. That's going to be sick. But anyways, I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did. I hope that you guys will go get your own infinity AIO fat tech board and I will see you on the next one. <laughs>